So as an organisation or as an employer, um, there are a bunch of things that you can do to promote well-being in the workplace and for your staff. The first thing is to be really clear about, you know, your starting and stop times every day your, and where there are flexible work arrangements. So it's very easy to have policies saying we're an employer that supports flexible hours of work. But often as an employer, walking that talk is, is much more difficult. So really thinking about what does flexible work mean is at the end of the world if all of your employees don't have the same start times and finish times. Is it worth talking to your staff, particularly those who rely on public transport to get to and from work? What's the best bus or train time for you? When does it arrive? You know, would a start time of 9.15 rather than 8.30 make a world of difference in your life? And you know, would that cause problems in your workplace? So really practical things like that. Um, I think another thing is you know, now that a lot of us have become used to being flexible about where we work, thinking carefully about the type of business you're in. There are obviously some places where you need staff to be in a certain place in order to interact with customers or clients, but there are many businesses that can actually accommodate uh, remote working, a mix of work from home, work from office, and those kinds of things. Another thing that employers can do is to think about the makeup of the workplace. It's increasingly popular to have uh, open workplaces, hot desking, those kinds of things where nothing in your workspace is personal to you except perhaps a locker. Um, while those spaces can work well, we do know um, there are examples of them actually being put in place for the purposes of cost cutting rather than to promote better working relationships or working environments. So we think it's actually important to invest in quality workspaces um, that enable your staff to work in ways that are good for them. Uh, some of us like quiet workspaces, some of us like to have lots of noise and colleagues to bounce ideas off, some of us need a range of those spaces in our working lives. And actually talking to staff before those decisions are made and realising that walking the talk of being a good employer is not always the cheaper option up front, although it may uh, bring resource back to you long term in terms of staff commitment and staff well-being.